Well, good morning, my friends. Welcome to The Needlebug. My name is Karen, and today I would like to show you another version of the buttonhole stitch. So, here we go. This is what happens when you do a lot of research on a particular stitch. I had done a video just a day or so ago on a tailored buttonhole stitch. Um, and what prompted this research is the fact that I had people asking for a buttonhole stitch that looked the same on both the front and the back of your fabric. Well, I thought the tailored one was going to be the trick, but in doing even further investigation, I found a knotted buttonhole stitch, which is a little similar, is similar but yet different. And in my opinion, from what I tried test stitching, this is the one that people, the person that asked is looking for. So let me show you how to do that. Get my thread here. I have a big piece of fab or a piece of fabric with big holes so that you can see and I tried to do a diagram so that you can follow along. But what we're going to do is have our, our away thread. And we're going to start this just like we would a regular buttonhole stitch. So I'm going to, okay, I'm going to try and do this. So a regular buttonhole stitch, we're going to, you know, have our little loop up here. We're going to go down through the fabric. We're going to come up through the fabric. We're going to pull that like we just would any other, any other buttonhole stitch. Now you see that it made a little L. This and this forms an L. Let me see if I can get you in just a smidgen closer. Ooh, 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 that's a little too close. Lost, got lost behind me. Okay. All right, let me go. Nope, this way a little bit, okay. Now you can see, do it again. Okay, here we go. There's a little L here. What you want to make is a knot on top of this stitch. So as in the diagram, your needle is going to go underneath that carry between the two stitches. Okay. Now this first one's a little difficult because it's loose um from the away thread and as you're going underneath hold on here okay as you're underneath that carry you have this other loop forms another loop and you want to go through that we'll have a better one when we do number two i should have done this first one before okay so now you have this scenario where Okay, you've gone under the L, you've come up, you've gone through the other loop that forms, and now you're going to pull that straight up, and it is going to put a knot on the top of your stitch, just like that. As I said, this first one is going to be a little bit helter-skelter because I just have a loose away. Now, if you're going to use it in hard hanger, you're going to do it in the very next. If you're going to use it for something else, you can skip. Okay, I'm going to skip just one 
set of holes and go to this one just so you can see it better. And then I'll do one where they're side by side. So again, we're going to do our regular buttonhole stitch. So you're going to go down through your fabric, come up through your fabric, your needle on top of your working thread, pull it through. You have a buttonhole stitch. Okay. Now, once again, you're going to come around. You're going to go underneath this carry between the two. You're going to go underneath that. You're going to have a loop. You're going to go through this loop. And then you're going to pull straight up. And once again, now that's a little loose again, but okay, we can tighten that up. But once again, that's going to give us a knot on the top. Okay, let's do another one. Should have had something to um, anchor this. In fact, let me just sneak up here just so I can anchor this a little bit better so that we can actually see what's going on. So let's just do that. Now I'm going to restart here just like we were doing number one again. Okay. Now it shouldn't be so loose. So I'm going to come up. I'm going to go to my first stitch. I probably went down more than four, but that's okay. You'll get the idea. <laughs> Big needle. <laughs> okay. I'm going to come up on top of my working thread. There we go. Now we're tighter. Now you can see better. Okay. We're going to go underneath the L. We now have a loop. We're going to go through this loop and we're going to pull straight up. So that's going to put a knot on the top. Your next stitch, the same thing. You're going to make your buttonhole stitch as you're accustomed to doing. On top of your working thread. You're going to go underneath the place between. Now, once you're, this is awkward for me because I'm trying to keep it that you can see and what have you. You have your loop. You're going to go through your loop. And you're going to pull this straight up. Once again. And it probably would help if I would stand up here. Once again, here we go. Pull it through. Now, if I was working this normally, I would be holding this with my thumb. Go underneath the L. Makes the loop. Go through the loop and pull it straight up. So that puts a buttonhole or a knot on the top. 
So when you cut this away, that knot is visible on both sides. And it looks the same on both sides of the fabric. Um, let me see. This may be a little hard to see, but this was a little sample I played with last night. So let's put this this way so you can see. So right in here. This is the back. Okay. So here you can see the little knots. Pardon me. This was the side I stitched it from. And you can see the little knots. Okay. So I think this is the stitch that everyone was looking for, or the people that wanted a stitch that looked the same on the front and in the back. This is the one that is going to do that for you. And as you see, again, this is the front. This is the back, as you see, and I'm gonna move you closer just a smidgen again. Um, you do not have any fabric threads poking up through. Y'all see that? So there's your back. Here's your front. They look virtually the same. If you had a piece laying on your table and you used this as your buttonhole edge, you would not be able to tell the front from the back. Going around corners, inside and outside, since you are doing a normal basic buttonhole stitch and what you're adding is the knot at the top you're working them just the same as we have done on all our other buttonhole stitch stitches <laughs> or the ones i have shown you in the past so i hope that helps people i hope that that is what you were looking for i can say i certainly am going to try it on my piece um, I was the piece I'm working on going to do a lacy edge, but I think I might just change my mind because I'm changing that pattern all over. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'd be interested in trying it. And from what I read, I do believe that this style of buttonhole stitch, as well as the tailored, are sturdier and do not have that tendency they're going to hold up better for you. So give them a try. See if you like it. If you want to use it, fine. If not, that's okay too. But you have it in your little basket of tricks that you can use in the future. So with that, my friends, I will see you next time. Um, this is encrusted, so I'm not going to use my favorite saying. <laughs> so have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in next video. Bye-bye for now.